Brothers and sisters, good evening, comrades and friends. Welcome to the Big Blue Wave in St. John's Rule East. This is the wonderful constituency of St. John's Rule East. But this is not just a constituency. It represents the fulcrum of the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. What do I mean? You see, the present condition of this constituency represents the condition of the nation. You have from the financially challenged all the way up to the well-to-do, every race, color, creed, and ethnicity. So we are a microcosm of what is going on in Antigua and Barbuda. St. John's Rule East must come home on election night for the United Progressive Party under the leadership of Harold Lovell and the UPP Redeemed Team. See, my call to duty called me to be an active part in a general, national, in a great national emergency. Notice I said the word emergency. You see, there is a new social contract that is to be written between myself and the people of St. John's Rural East. While the United Progressive Party and the nation of Antigua and Barbuda is called to what I call a new title deed called the New Deal. Success then will be due to a leadership whose vision carries beyond futile gestures, infantile pandemics, and gestures of feel-good repeated promises. We have seen that movie before, and we know the ending. You see, the nation will once again be mobilized for a shift in governance, a shift in leadership, a shift in vision, a shift in the economy, and a new moral compass. With the understanding, to my mind, and throughout the nation today, we're facing a grave emergency to the human condition. Therefore, the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party has either forgotten or does not want to remember the financially challenged class of people that exist in Antigua and Barbuda, and I dare say, St. John's Rule East. You see, to improve is to change, so to be perfect is to change often. If we do not live up to our promises, then I'm inviting you, the people, to change, and change often, because it is change that, you, in that change, your expectations will be met. As an agent of change myself, with the United Progressive Party Redeemed Team, we are aware of the expectations. They're not ordinary expectations, but expectations that exceed the normal. It is not easy for everyone to taste and accept new wine, but a new wine means a new spirit, a new vision, a new expectation, and a higher sense of responsibility. But it also is a willingness to demonstrate now to serve. You see, it is that absence of representation and service that has the heart growing weak. What I mean? You know when you're in love and you get one knuckle? Ah, oh, you cry. Your heart hurt you. St. John's rule is, here's your new love, Sean Bird. So blow your horn, you're voting Sean. <laughs> Once again, we're going to rekindle that love affair. You see, the problem with many people is that they occasionally stumble over the truth. And most people pick themselves up and hurry off as if it never happened. Well, we, the United Progressive Redeemed Team, we are that truth under the leadership of Harold Lovell, a people first party, a people first government in waiting. You do not have to stumble. I am, we are, we are here. 
For St. John's rule is, I promise you a new social contract with you, the people of St. John's rule is, and with Antigua and Barbuda, a united progressive party will present a new deal. The social contract with St. John's Rule East will include jobs for the skilled and unskilled as we reposition the economy of Antigua and Barbuda. I understand this is something that's dear to me because I have it close to me. The increase of mental challenges I'm seeing in St. John's Rule East. Then what we're seeing, we promise we're going to give you the necessary resources. There's an increase of what is not spoken about. Suicides. Y'all didn't know that, no? Parental abuse. And this is the one that shocked me. Elderly abuse. You don't believe me? Check Ministry of Social Transformation. We were going to address it in a real way. You see, because we recognize the need to rebuild a broken and crooked, oh sorry, cracked foundation. The ability we provide is making a way for you to have hope for your family and the future. Of course there's the issue of water, water, water. We have taken this so seriously as a government in waiting that we have made it a priority for granny to do what? To turn on the tap and bathe, bathe, bathe. And cook, cook, cook. Granny, you're going to be all right. Taking everything into consideration, you have a choice on election day. Please do a comparison for me and ask yourself the question, St. John's Rule East, are you better off today than you were in 2018? In my social contract with St. John's Rule East, I'm giving you the guarantee of more access and consultation which you, the people of St. John's Rule East, have been lacking. Do you have access to your representative? St. John's Rule East, ask yourself the question, were the promises made to you in 2018 fulfilled? Did you get your job? Did you get the startup assistance that you were promised? Did you have access to your representative? Let me go one step further. When last you see she... I am asking you a question. When last you see she? I'm just asking that all, that's all I'm doing. You see, tonight gives me an opportunity to present the plans for not only United Progressive Party, but for St. John's Rural East. Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, a real cure must go to the killing of the bacteria in the system rather than to the treatment of external systems. In other words, when you get the 100 the $50, the 200 the 500 that last year, day or two. What about the core? Tell me a lie. Tell me a lie. Yes, we understand that there is a pandemic, but do not forget that there are innate rights and the duty of a representative and a government which you elect. So if you don't have access to a representative, if you are void of representation, except the $100, the $200, the $500. What do you have? You see no jobs, no stimulus, and no hope. Much of this is the result of lack of purchasing power. We therefore cannot escape the conclusion that an essential part of the United Progressive Party's program, a national program of restoration, must be to restore purchasing power while making a way for those who seek to be entrepre entrepreneurs, thus opening the way for upward mobility and creating the energy and excitement that will cause many to once again have confidence in not only the constituency, but the economy, industry, and nation as a whole. You see, this is a human condition. I like to talk about that because there are innate rights to that which you are entitled to. Understand what this means. Your innate rights seem to be beyond the concern of this administration, we can th which can think in terms only of the top of the social and economic structure. It has not sought temporary relief from the top, from the bottom up, but sought relief from the top down. What happened to the on the $2,500 earners? What happened to the masses who are asking and crying out 
for some pride and hope for their future. They have totally failed to plan ahead and manage our current challenges in an appropriate manner. It is the get rich quick or look at me, I am a millionaire mindset that has failed to give us hope, a vision, or I dare say leadership. But under the leadership of Harold Lovell and the United Progressive Party Redeem Team, you will not only have leadership, you will have a vision, you will have hope, and you will have your needs met with the understanding that you're going to fall in love again with the representative for St. John's Rural East. We're going to have developed that love affair. See, what we have presently is a contract that has cracked and at the last moment devoid of ideas or plans. Now they're rushing around, the government is, like a chicken with its head cut off to prevent the total collapse of our country with voodoo economics, or I dare say a voodoo budget. It is high time we get back to people first by bringing back the fundamentals that will cause people to have confidence to invest and explore new business and social options, always keeping an eye on the future with us, the United Progressive Party, a people-first government. We will never take for granted our people's resilience, or for that matter, not understand their cry about the cost of living. You heard the political leader outline how we can reduce the cost of living. That is not voodoo economics or voodoo budget. That is reality, speaking to the social conditions and also recognizing that you will now have a realistic budget with a realistic opportunity to achieve your goals and dreams. Let us come into agreement. I would like you, the people of St. John's Rural East and the United Progressive Party, first there's the social contract or the love affair which we will have again, and there's also a new deal with the central tenant between a United Progressive Party government being people first, not just words, but making it an action word. Let me just give you a couple examples as we are winding down what we have planned for St. John's Rural East, a constituency council. Why? We have 4,800 and about eight voters in St. John's Rural East. And let, I love to hear that one day. You break my train of thought. That's why we're going to have that love affair rekindled. Let us, un <laughs> let us understand that we're going to have a constituency council. And that council will not only give you access to representation, but have your needs met. When you start to see the drainage up from Jim Daddy and all that's happening in Skerritt's pasture, uh, when you see Casada Gardens 1, 2, and 3, the gutters, the terrible incident that happened with the young customs officer and how she was so brutally assaulted in that manner because the constituency was not clean. There were bushes and overgrowth that neighbors and people could not see what was happening around them. We intend to clean it up. So we not only intend to clean up with the election, but we intend to clean up St. John's Rural East to make it more habitable, to let you begin to understand that we're going to have a love affair once again. We also understand, you know, we were campaigning the other day, and what we saw was a young man came out, and I asked him what was his job. He said, drinking rum and smoking weed. He began to say that how, if I own a hand, thousand dollar, that how I can't come round here. He got abusive, and he got very vitriolic. But is that kind of young man an attitude where you're going to get a people-first government to rehabilitate with the understanding that once they understand hope and responsibility, we, the government of Antigua and Barbuda, with under the leadership and prime ministership of Harold Lovell, will show you a direction that will give us and take us to the mountaintop. We have seen the mountaintop. We have seen the promised land. And we are telling you we are ready to deliver in this next coming general election. Make no bones about it. It is victory first, victory second, victory third. The United Progressive Party and you in the next general election. Honk your horn, cause your vote is Sean. Here is the priest from Rural East. I am Sean Bird. I am the right choice for St. John's Rural East. Vote UPV, vote the right choice all the way. Here we go, here and forevermore. The United Progressive Party.
the right choice.